I want to share a few things uh, in regards to envy as I believe this is a very very dangerous sin that could lead to very serious uh, consequences envy could um, break marriages it could uh, make brothers not um, see each other and speak with each other in a long time it could lead to stealing lying it could lead to unforgiveness and um, I want to read a few verses I'm gonna try to keep this video as quick as possible but I just want to share a few things which I've noticed in the Bible um, I read in Matthew chapter 27 starting with verse verse 15 now at the feast the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would and they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas therefore when they were gathered together Pilate said unto them whom will he that I release unto you Barabbas or Jesus which is called Christ for he knew that for envy they had delivered him I also want to read the next few verses just because I think they're very very interesting and important when he was set down on the judgment seat his wife sent unto him saying have thou nothing to do with that just man for I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him this woman she did she didn't know Jesus as most of these people who delivered Jesus to be crucified and cried out to be crucified let him be crucified she had a dream and she believed that dream you know and she believed that Jesus was a just man undeserving of persecution undeserving of death how come how come these Jews these other people deliver Jesus to be crucified and just desire him to be dead so badly because Jesus had done so many wonderful works to them and Jesus healed them he provided food for them I read in um, John chapter 7 verse 7 the world cannot hate you but me it hated because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil this is why they hated Jesus because Jesus was different this is why they envied Jesus although he helped them so much although he had done so many wonderful things for them he didn't partake in their evil works even more than that he exposed them this is why they envied Jesus remember um, Joseph imagine little Joseph you know um, sitting around his father and his father asking him well how was your day today you know and he would um, he would basically tell him the truth and tell how his brothers were unfaithful to his to his dad you know and uh, I believe this is um, most likely why they hated him you know and it, I, I believe it was because he was different from them he didn't partake in all their evil works rather he was faithful to his dad and this is probably why his dad 
had um, favored him. You know, another interesting thing which I noticed that I want to share is um, I don't have much battery left, but I think I have enough to quickly share this as well. In the beginning of the video I read from Matthew chapter se chapter 27 um, in regards to, you know, um, uh, when Pilate asked the people to release Barabbas or Jesus. So this was a chapter 27, but just a chapter prior I want to read a few verses to you and then um, share uh, some of my thoughts on this. So chapter 27 in Matthew, I read, I start in verse 7. There came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head and he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she had poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall be also this that this woman had done, be told for a memorial to her. Now, before I read the next verse, I want to... Um, I just want to mention that another gospel says that it was Judas Iscariot who said, why, why, why waste this uh, ointment? It could have been sold for a lot of money and given to the poor, but he didn't say that because he cared about the poor, but rather because he took care of the um, uh, money box and he used to take from it. Remember? So the next verse says, Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priests. This is where he, he betrayed Jesus, you know, and I believe it was also because of envy, you know, because this woman had done such a, such a wonderful work for Jesus and um, spent such an expensive um, ointment for him, you know. Obviously, later he repented when he saw Jesus, um, that he was, um, that he was, um, you know, delivered um, to, to be crucified, but it was too late. And that, that envy, you know, and probably how Jesus answered to him he probably didn't like that you know but uh, these are just some, a few things which I saw in regards to envy and I believe um, we should be very careful uh, when it comes to people around us what they have what they don't have and uh, especially when you know, envy can come um, from many things. It can come from material things, but it can come from spiritual things. And I think this is extremely dangerous. To expose the evil works of people, it is the one of the most dangerous things that there is. And... Um, we should obviously be careful about this um, this um, really bad sin, not to fall into a bit because it could lead to serious consequences. My Jesus bless you.